What it do, you too? Sheesh. Damn, the way that sunlight hitting your boy's face. Looking kind of good. All right, if you guys don't know, last video we got a new, well not new, a used transmission for the S14. Reason being is because I needed the S14 speed sensor, the cast sensor, not the crank angle sensor, but the one that goes on top of the transmission. And I needed the reverse light sensor. So I pretty much got another transmission because mine didn't have the hole for the cast. And then, I don't know, I figured since I have the S13, I could possibly use this transmission in this car for uh, that car or sell it. I don't know, we'll see. This video isn't gonna be filmed all today because I'm linking from the rear main seal. I just bought a bunch of level up. Uh, look at that on my face, bro. God damn, that's a meteor. Hey, shout out to the dance team, you know what I'm saying? Commonality, at Commonality SJ. Search them up on Instagram, baby. Instagram, Commonality SJ, baby. <laughs> but yeah, so this is gonna be filmed in multiple days. All I'm doing is just taking everything apart and then I'm taking the trans out. I don't know how soon I will be replacing the transmission just because I'm saving up for a possible engine swap for the S13 as well. So, so but anyways, let's just start taking things apart. I almost stripped the ball. Damn. Yeah. Let me show y'all my ghetto rig. I had to elevate the transmission slightly so the back of the drive shaft could slightly tilt so I could bring it down. I had a fucking rotor sitting on that shit. Gotta cover this bad boy so it doesn't rust. Loosen some of the bolts already. Gotta get the top ones. Oh, I remember your last time, those were the ones that were the hardest. OEM clutch I got OEM flywheel and OEM clutch let's see if this flywheel needs to be resurfaced or not the clutch still got some life on it actually oh the pressure plate's looking good I thought the flywheel was gonna be way more rusty but it actually looks good chilling I do have to take this off though because I'm gonna replace the rear main seal I don't know if I have this bolt socket thingy Fuck. 19 mil let's see yes Fits. Don't try this at home, kids. Amazing tips. Ooh. 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 Oh, sick. Sheesh. Sorry, my fat ass head. My head was in the way the whole time. Damn. Don't do that. What I just did was I had, I got my jack stand. Uh, I got my jack stand jack and use it as leverage, I split it in half. I used one to hold on the dial pins and connected it. It held from the ground to the dial pins and the other one I used to loosen up. The thing, don't do that because that's sketch for the dial pin. Oh, mine didn't break. But yeah, I used a torque wrench and everything, so. And I also had Loctite on the bolts. It was still tight, but I thought it was gonna be a lot harder. But good thing we got it. <laughs> These are ARP flywheel bolts, so you are able to reuse them, which is a good thing. Ooh. Oh, I caught it. But you just gotta be scaled sometimes. Yeah, you can definitely see that the rear main sill is leaking. Well, yeah, everything's finished, dude. That's the fastest I have removed the transmission, even though this is only my second time. Chill. Just, I just, you know, just be doing it. Oh, oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? <laughs>
cleanest, but I can't even do it. Thumbs up, god damn it. <laughs> good enough, good enough. Gotta remove the rear main seal. Oh, yeah. Ooh, my neck's hurting. <laughs> but this freaking part of the oil pan right here is bent in towards the bolt, so I'm trying to unbend it. So I have this attachment here. All I'm doing is putting it in this little crevice, like so, and I'm banging it on, <laughs> I'm banging on this end with my uh, jack freaking lever handle thing, and it started coming out. So hopefully this works. Oh yeah, you got it, boys, you got it, look at that. Come on, baby. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. Got this bitch off, man. It kind of messed us up a little bit along the edges. I didn't have anything that was angled, so I had to go along the oil pan and hammer it like so to get the uh, sealant off. All right, let's remove this. Got this shit out. New one's about to get in. Oh my god. Are you fucking serious, bro? That's why I don't order off eBay. Holy crap, man. It's fucking stupid. No, it ripped as soon as I put it in. That's why you don't buy stuff off of eBay. I should just rip as soon as I put it in. God damn it. It was like a different material, too. Look at that. God damn it. Well, hopefully I have one of autos on or something. Got the, you know, straw hat on. Straw hat Luffy out here. Look at my hair, bro. But anyways, we were running to AutoZone because they said that they had one in stock. And of course I forgot my wallet. I'm bringing that with me to see if it fits because sometimes, you know, auto parts stores, they'll say they have it in stock, but it doesn't fit. Hit, listen to that Mazda roar. Good old San Jose. This AutoZone had two in stock. This comes with a paper gasket. I probably won't use the paper gasket, but if you guys need the uh, part number, I think that's it right there. Or that one. I don't know, one of these. But hopefully this works. I probably won't use the paper gasket because I bought the uh, RTV high temp. Already feels like better material, man. That's why you don't buy stuff off of eBay, bro. You know? It said that it was an OEM gasket, but it, it was it wasn't the same color and the material didn't feel the same so i don't know let's head back look at that bam perfect fitment went in all the edges no cracks no nothing i'm saying it's how you do it baby medium and a hard i do want to use a medium one but i think i'm gonna just put the hard in and just see what that feels like all right here goes the springs i i don't know if one of these i thought it was gonna be three small springs and three of these big ones but i don't know i think this one's like your medium one this one's like your soft and this one oh that one's hard these both are hard hmm i don't know i gotta figure it out I think these are just if you want it to be uh, even springier. <laughs> All right. Since I have both of the transmissions here, this one has the hardest springs in it. Only just the hardest springs, not with the soft springs. This one is the one that's going in the S14. It's my old transmission. Just by messing with them, I could already tell that there's a huge difference, like big difference in terms of how the shifter comes back. As you can see, this is neutral, right? This is by going side to side, no force. Now I'm using the springs. This is just going back and forth. That's not putting any pressure. See how much more play there is? If 
if I just move this slightly versus if I just move this, that's how much the springs actually help. Now I'm going into gear when I shift it around, it's still gonna be play, you know, it's still stock shift there. Versus this one, if I go into first gear, look how much more play there is. That's in first gear. Like that's neutral. That's first gear. Look how much play there is versus this one. It springs back into neutral. Woo. 10 out of 10 recommend. GK Tech, baby. GK Tech, baby. Feel me. GK Tech, baby. What the fuck? I'm under the car right now. And I just found out that there's a dial pin right here for the transmission that lines up on this side. So what happened is I was tightening the transmission. This transmission also had a dial pin sticking out, but I tightened it so tight that it pushed it in. I don't know if this is from the last transmission that I put on because it's stuck in here. I tried to take it out, I tried to take this out. None of them would come out, but this one on the transmission side is flat now. I'm going to go ahead and try to grind this down and then uh, hopefully that'll have the mate, the transmission made up to the block. I got it pretty flat for the most part. It's still kind of raised here, but you can see I got some of the block as well, but that shouldn't be any problem. That should allow the transmission to sit flush in. Had to go grab that good stuff. <laughs> got a couple more things to do. Got to put the fluid inside of the trans. After that, I gotta put the shifter on and I gotta tighten um, two more trans bolts and then that'll be it. Something I do when I pour the fluid in is I pour it in from the top. You don't wanna get a lot in here. As you can see, some of it got in here. What you wanna do is aim for that hole right there. And something that I like to do is jack the car from the back so it tilts like this. That way, you know, the trans fluid uh, drips forward into the gears and stuff. So uh, it works, I guess, because that's how I did my other trans, no grinding or anything. This stuff is magic. So as long as it's in there with the gears, you're chilling. <laughs> yep, there we go. Just like that. As you can see, it's dripping towards the front. You can't really see it dripping towards the back. So this is what you want right there. All right, got everything finger tight. Just waiting for the uh, gasket to dry. I never figured out this wire situation when I first manual swapped my car. I just left it um, zip tied and under the car. So going through it, I finally have a, a CAS sensor for the transmission, not the crank angle sensor, but the um, the trans crank angle sensor or whatever. I don't know what's called, but yes, this sensor. And then this is the O2 sensor right here. The rest I got to figure out. But yeah, so for today, this is probably going to be it. I'm going to start the car for you guys, you know, Make sure there's nothing. Probably go for a test drive off camera. After that, this is gonna be it. I have everything tightened down, everything connected. I'm probably gonna go for a test drive after this off camera, or probably not. I don't know, I'm getting kind of lazy. We woke up at 5 a.m. today to do a video shoot, so we'll see. I still gotta do more maintenance on the car, so the video is not gonna end here. It's probably gonna be, it's probably gonna be a pretty long video, so if you guys are still watching, thank you. And <laughs> Ah. All right, I just moved, removed these three plugs. My neighbors are having a party. <laughs> but just remove these three plugs. One, two, three. And I figured out out of these four, other than this one that you need to, you know, tap into itself. These three are for the automatic transmission. So I think with these unplugged, your car will start. And then this you can just toss because it's no longer needed. So I haven't wired the reverse lights yet, but I think it's one of these two that you need to tap into to wire the reverse lights but i gotta figure it out it could be this one or one of these two. i don't know we'll figure it out i got everything else tightened down got the cas sensor in drive shaft bolts in so yeah this thing's about ready to start hold up hold up hey hey 